أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك dear brothers and sisters be mindful of, uh, about the fact that we are dealing uh, primarily with the uh, the concepts in the religion that are governing the last ten days of Ramadan. And what I mean by that is that there are some traditions that are related. For those of us who are seeking out the night of power, we need to focus on the odd nights during the last 10 days. We're in that period now, dear brothers and sisters. So it's important for us to have that focus, to seek out the last, uh, seek out the night of power during the last 10 on the odd nights. There's really no tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu that's authenticated that tells us that the night of power is on a particular day. But there is uh, countless traditions that dictate that the Prophet Sallallahu has in, uh, in, in an authenticated report has said that it's best to seek out the night of power in the last 10 days on the odd nights. And so that's enough for us. See, many of us, we forget that Ramadan is centered around you getting the most out of the month and not you giving or, or, or just a little bit, but you giving as much as you can. And some of us come into the month of Ramadan with the mentality that like we know when the night of power is and that's the only time we show up. You don't see that person any other time in the month of Ramadan other than that last uh, the, tw- the, 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 the night that they designate as the night of power. So they come on the 27th. And I'm not here saying to you that the night of power is or is not on the 27th. I'm telling you that that particular date has been kept from us. And I know about things like that being kept from us, like the time on Friday when we are supposed to make dua and whatever we make dua for, Allah will grant that dua, but you got to be in that hour. Like when the last hour is going to take place, we have to know. We know it's on Juma, but we don't know which Juma. You see? And so these are the very things, because if we knew those things, what would happen to us, dear brothers and sisters? The Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, had a discussion with Mu'ad ibn Jabal, and he shared some information with Mu'ad ibn Jabal. And Mu'ad, may Allah be pleased with him, was so overjoyed. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, should I share this with the people? And the Prophet Sallallahu said to him, do not share it with them because perhaps they will rely on that alone. And what he was referring to was the tradition where the prophet asked Mu'ad, did he know what Allah's right is over him? And he said that we do not associate partners with him. And then the prophet Islam, said, do you know uh, what, uh, what your right over Allah is, O Mu'ad? And he said, Allah and his messenger know best. And he did that with the first statement as well, the first question as well. And then the prophet Islam, said to him on the second question, after he said Allah and his messenger know best, he said that he does not punish you should you do so. So in other words, dear brothers and sisters, when the Prophet Islam said perhaps they will rely on that, is the same way people just come on the 27th. The same way the people they're looking for a particular time and they'll just come during that time and they're just relying on that, thinking that they're going to get their salvation. Be mindful of that, dear brothers and sisters. Don't be that type of person during the month of Ramadan. Come out every night if you have to, but come out at least on the odd nights. Come out on the odd nights seeking out the night of power. May Allah help us to that we say Amin. So now we go from that, dear brothers and sisters, and we climb into another idea that's being presented. And that idea is that the month of Ramadan, all things that are done in it are just for Ramadan. That's not true. All of this fasting, all of this praying at night, all of this charity, all of this doing dawah, all of this reading the Quran, it's not just for Ramadan, dear brothers and sisters. You can do it outside of Ramadan. You can do it when Ramadan is over. So if you can do that, dear brothers and sisters, and set yourself up with a pattern, a study habit, a time that you go to the masjid, the things that you study. If you can keep that up during the year, more power to you. May Allah continue to bless you. 
In closing, dear brothers and sisters, we're going to continue our discussion when we come back. However, this blessed month of Ramadan is constantly fleeting us. So we're going to talk in terms of some ways in which you can get the most out of the blessed month of Ramadan. And to that, dear brothers and sisters, we say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.